What's rolling, brawlers? Evil Lohan here with all the cheese and your things. TCG back again with another Bakugan Pro Review hit review and finish up the Wave Three, I believe, or Wave Four. Sorry, Wave Four. Uh, Bakugan. Yeah, uh, I can't remember actually. To be honest, I'm pretty sure this is Wave Four. I don't think we've actually taken a look at any of these Geogon or sorry, any of these Bakugan. So this is probably the first one of the Wave Four. So hit a little dust on it. Sorry, but that's been a little bit. So with all being said, let's go ahead and move on to this Paris Torino Ultra Bakugan review. All right, brothers. Let's go ahead and move on to a uh, course first, because as always we have the cores. As always we have the cores. So first we got the best 250 uh, plus three red fist. Very very good. Oh my god! I'm not even gonna um, hold on. And then we have a six red fist. Yikes! Amazing. The only thing that'd be better is if they gave us a gear. But you know, I kind of don't want to do that. You know how that goes. Here is uh, the eight card. Uh, don't care. And then next we got the action card. Our ability card, sorry. Uh, Baku action. <laughs> what? Uh, Rack of Fury for one cost. Three co uh, three damage and a scan effect. Not bad. And honestly, pretty good. Better than the, I think, the Flaming one. Fire Floor. Can't remember. And then we got the Power Sword Ultra, of course. Double re uh, Red Fist. 500 beat. Five damage. And on Victor. Scan. So, here is Toranoid. Uh, well, yeah. Pretty good. Uh, in my opinion. Uh, this is like the hardest Bakugan to close. So, let's go see if I can do it. So you close his hands, put his hands down, right? You put his face in, from what I know. It, 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 it's kind of hard. I'm not going to lie to you. Do that. Do that. Kind of. Kind of. Oh, yikes. I'm not good at this, guys. Ah! So you put him like that, put his thing back. Or so I thought. Two thousand years later. Okay, this thing is pretty difficult to close. So let's go ahead and try. It. So what the ma the manual tells you to do is to concave his body in, put his tail forward, so that it kind of you can hold him like this, right? You're gonna push his head back, push his head in, push his horns back, right, like that. So then he's like this, and this is where things get a little honestly unorthodox, because I don't know, you'll see why. You close that, right? If we can even do it. You close that, you push his leg in, right? There goes that. Push his other leg in. And you can kind of see that it doesn't quite close right. And it might just be this one. It might be the mold in general. But it won't close. It may look like it's not closed, but it's closed. So now I've heard and I've heard this thing can double core, which means it might actually have some, some potential for competitive play. So let's see. Oh, that seems so inconsistent, especially because mine's like a ginormous blast of compressed mess. So, let's we'll try one more time to see if I can get that. Um, who really knows, right? We'll try one more time. Three, two, one. Baku got a brawl, and I mean, I can kind of see how it would double core if it like, I guess, got like that and like. Not even. It'd have to. It really would have to open backwards so then he could flop like that. So maybe we can try it. I can try it. Maybe. We'll try one more time. And if it's just not, you know, if it's something we can't do, then honestly, I will have to say that this one's just like not really worth it. Try one more time. Three, two, one. Bakugan brawl. And I mean, it kind of could, but he just flips around way too much. So maybe somebody else can master it. No, they're not. We'll go into thoughts and opinions. Spin master. Great job. Great job with the two cores. Amazing. Oh, the best fist. If you really want just the cores in general, this is the. You just buy this Bakugan. Honestly. If you just want it for the cores, that's it. Just buy him, you get the two red fists. Two best fists besides the gear one, in my opinion. So. Um, uh, we got the Rack of Fury. It is better than that Fire Four card because one cost for an extra damage and scan is kind of more worth it. I would like it better if it was four, but it's, you know, it's whatever. Uh, we'll go ahead and move on to the main attraction, the Pyrus Toranoi. So, he is weak 5B, 500B, but that 5 damage putting him with a Red Fist puts him at 11 damage. So, in reality, it is not that bad and will beat all the GR Big B boys in terms of, you know, damage. So, damage on his plays is pretty good with this. If he does double core, you're going to be at 17 and 18 and 19 on the Mac in might. So, um, really, this Bakugan is all dependent on your strategy. It, uh, 
it is one of the better Pyrus damage wins in terms of GR Bakugan, but there is one other Bakugan that I'm saving for a better conversation besides this one. So, I mean, in terms of Pyrus, you obviously damage wins are the plays you want to go with it. You could run an Aquas allowing you access to quicker draw power cards, allowing you to get to those uh, damage wins cards faster, and maybe the Racket Fury to boost up your damage. If you're feeling edgy, you can play the new Pyrus and Ventus cards, allowing you access to the new uh, core removing cards and destruction energy cards that kind of, you know, see some decent, you know, versatility in the game. Um, if you decide you want to run Darkest, you have the access to the rapid fire cards, allowing you to play cards a lot quicker and access to more damage dumping, giving damage runs plays. The big con about this Bakugan is that it has that low 500B, very, very low, even on the best red fist, you're only at 750, and even on a magic shield. You're only at 1250s. So it's like, what are you going to do? Damage wins, obviously. So, um, in comparison to damage wins, Bakugan, this is pretty, uh, you know, moderate. You have a lot of good Bakugan, such as, you know, the new, the old Fusion Force stuff, the Hydro Bat. You got stuff like Aqua Spinica that can put damage in pretty good. You got Darkest Falcon, you know, Geoforce Drago. You got, you know, it all really depends on what kind of Bakugan you're trying to use and what damage plays you're trying to do. But, in reality, this is a pretty good Pyrus one, in my opinion. Um, Not the best in the season, but hey, we'll talk about that later. Um, which Bakugan do you prefer out of this wave that you just saw? And um, are you hyped for new uh, way, uh year four reviews? We're going to go ahead and finish up the year three stuff. And then go ahead and crank out the year four stuff after that's all done. So expect a lot more competitor reviews later. And sorry for the lack of content. I was on a, a bit of a holiday um, vacation. You know, been coming videos out all this year. So just trying to make sure to catch up on all those year three videos. And make sure to keep an eye out for them. You know, there's you know plenty more content to be coming out. And no sign of stopping soon. So with that being said, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this. Bakugan. Is it something you're worth getting? Is it worth the money? And are the cores worth it and all? So... Like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you keep an eye out for my Instagram and Twitter for daily Bakugan content because I will be posting on there for no reason. And make sure you have the notification bell so you know when all the Bakugan Pro competitive reviews will be out on the channel. So, with that being said, guys, keep it rolling and have a wonderful day.